I, I think that um, what we're likely to see uh, are elections in probably in November under mm -hmm. this constitution without, I, I would be surprised if there was constitutional change before mm -hmm. between now and November. I think it's possible you could see some tightening of the political environment in the run-up to the elections. Hopefully we'll see no political violence. Uh, I think you will see relatively free and fair polls on, on, on polling day. The government has already said that it will allow international observation of, of, of the elections. Um, but because it is under this constitution, what it means is that the army will automatically uh, receive 25% right. of the seats in parliament. Um, and through a, a complicated process, the president will be chosen uh, by an electoral college formed from the parliament. So exactly what will happen on the other side of the elections uh, in the selection of the president, in the makeup of the new government, um, I think there's still a lot of question marks. This right. government has until the end of March next year. And so between when the elections are held and when the new government will come into place, there will be two or three months of pure politics. When the results of the elections are known, you have different parties represented, but whatever deals are going to be made, whatever coalitions are going to be formed, whatever understandings are going to mm. be agreed, uh, will happen in those, in those key uh, months immediately after the election, so next December and January. Can I just say something sure. about politics? Um, politics was illegal before. <clears throat> 2010. Gatherings of more than three, right? Well, five, yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> what does it matter? Three, yeah, five, no. not much difference. Um, <clears throat> but that's a colonial, that was an old colonial mm -hmm. rule. Um, uh, politics was illegal. Um, if, uh, if you tried to engage in politics, you could get thrown in prison, and many people were. That's where mm -hmm. the political prisoners came from. Um, democracy was a bad word. It was like a swear word. Mm -hmm. Aung San Suu Kyi was being demonized really brutally demonized in, in the public press, in the, in the government-controlled press. And all of that just turned on its head. It has turned on its head in, in the last few years. She's a part of the government. There's no longer any of that demonization. They're embracing democracy, trying to understand what it is they never understood in the first place. And the place has become intensely political. Mm -hmm. I mean, everything is politics today. And, and a very I'm, vibrant I'm press, sure right? That, that that the supporters of, of the democracy movement, and particularly Aung San Suu Kyi, outside understand that the whole environment is so different today and mm -hmm. that, that there's nothing unusual about her being a politician. Mm -hmm. She always was, but she couldn't practice it right. because right. it was illegal.